Let's make a quick and dirty asteroid belt in Softimage. Purpose, uh, in purpose, I'm going to take a surface uh, disk. Not something we do often to use surfaces. Make that a bit uh, bigger like that. And um, good. Excellent. Uh, let's just get any object, polygon mesh, sphere, make that quite small. And uh, let's just change the way it looks. Let's make it really simple as such. And let's duplicate that many, many times. You may not be able to see my duplicate. There it is. It's under edit, duplicate, instantiate, duplicate, multiple, let's say a thousand copies. This will take a moment. All right, now there's a thousand of them there. A thousand and one really with that one we created before. And let's uh, constrain all those to uh, s the surface that we made in the beginning here. And all those will now be projected in that zero, zero UV location. Now randomly, Let's place them between 0 and 1 on the U, and again between 0 and 1 on the V. Excellent. Let's play uh, with the tangency and the normal. Uh, notice we have some um, a value here for the roll. Uh, notice that it goes 360 to 0, uh, minus 360. Let's actually go from uh, random from 0 to 360, just to place them in a random fashion like that. Click Enter. Um, and this takes us to the actual uh, geometry of all those spheres. Notice it's a multi-PPG. Uh, let's play with the radius also. Let me copy that value and uh, randomize it from what it was and let's start uh, let's start with 0 dot 0 what zero 05 let's say to whatever it was at let's say it's dot 3 Okay, so that randomized the size and subdivisions. Maybe we can play with that too. Just to change the look a bit. Something like that. And just copy that over here. All right. Take this and let's just key it here. Whoop, in rotation. And frame 100, it's going to rotate to here. Hit 0, set that to linear. Hide it, H. G, uh, take away the grid. And there you go, something really quick and dirty, of course. If you want some jiggle and stuff in there, uh, you can add more uh, UV subdivs on the uh, original um, surface, on uh, this surface. Let's see. Okay. And go to modeling here. Model. Deform. And in here, I'm going to use shape jitter. I'm going to exaggerate on that a bit. Obviously, this is animatable, uh, but as soon as you hit play, you'll see that uh, that will vary. Let's 
hide that. That's it.